This video has been sponsored by Loot Anime. Stay tuned till after the video for an unboxing. To celebrate 10 years of Anime America, we asked you, the audience, which of our reviews and top 10s you thought were our best. Well, we're here to quickly go over the results for you guys, starting with our best reviews and then our best top 10 lists. If you don't see your favorite videos here, be sure to leave a comment down below sharing your favorite review or top 10 list from us. With that said, here are Anime America's best reviews and top 10 lists as voted by you, the viewers. The series seems to be very popular since a lot more games have been coming out lately, like Book of Shadows, Dead Patient, Blood Drive, and Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday. Would you like some cake? Well, that depends. Is the cake a lie? That your hair? You could lose a lot of weight by crying uncontrollably. Crying uncontrollably? Nonsense! If that were true, then I bet cutting off my hair with a chainsaw would make it shinier. Yes, I also feel included in this conversation. Well, why don't you ask Miss Protagonist over there? Would you like a little off the top or... God damn it! Koro Sensei might be one of anime's most fun antagonists in a long while. He's funny, over the top, makes a bunch of references, but at the same time you feel like he's actually a threat to these people and lives up to his unkillable namesake. You always want to come back each week to see what Koro Sensei and his antics are getting everybody into. And sometimes they're actually f***ing hilarious. I mean, the Naruto joke in there? A plus, guys. I'm Megan, and if you need me, I'm going to go test things on Shannon to see if I can kill Koro Sensei. Say what now? Well, if there's one thing to comment on, it's the animals given to each of the main swimmers. Aru is a dolphin, Makoto is a whale, Nagisa is a penguin, Rei is a beautiful butterfly, because swimming, and Rin is... Hmm, gee, I don't know what kind of animal he could be. It's such a great mystery, I don't think I can solve it myself. I think he's supposed to be sharp tooth. And now it's time for a new segment of the show. Does Haru like the water? Yep. First, our heroes would be presented with a task or problem. They travel towards destination to said problem and meet the big bad guy that agitates them in a fight. Either they lose the fight or watch the bad guy get away. They find out what they need to do to save the world via an Indiana Jones style of quest or treasure hunt. They split up to fight their respective baddies, win against those baddies before coming together towards an impossible final boss that the main character will win via the power of friendship before heading back home and watching and, repeat. and man, does it get tiring. We have two suffering souls desperately needing Yuki's love in order to feel some sort of happiness in their miserable existences. One is trying to free himself from the manipulative structures of selfish vampires, while the other is a victim slowly turning into the monster he despises. So, in the end, who does Yuki choose? Why que no las dos? You gotta be kidding me. Anime America proudly presents... Pokemon Month. Vanillite, use headbutt! Huh? Uh. You know, I'm just gonna call him blue from this point. But what if the fans complain that it's originally green? <laughs> whoa, whoa, girl, down! Oh, look! Ash's mom is trying to find her way into the plot by dramatically flying in a helicopter with Professor Oak to get Ash in the middle of the planet's biggest storm in history. Smart thinking there, you two. I am Ente. Holy shit, a Dan Green! And let's not forget Monica Rial. To those of you who think she's more annoying than the Lobelia girls, I like her. I like Renge. I think she's funny and cute. Why you know like Ring Gay? Also, I stand by my opinion on the Labelli girls, cause I hate them. 
In fact, throughout March, we'll be covering everything about Sailor Moon. Welcome to Sailor March Madness! While the Earth is blanketed with temporary darkness, a flying circus floats from above and lands on top of downtown Tokyo. Oh my god. It's... It's... Monty Python's a Flying Circus! <laughs> Couldn't resist. At the very beginning, it starts off as the same as the games, with Makoto giving us an intro, and in all aspects, it's running side by side. A few lines are cut here and there, but that wasn't the issue that was rising. But as soon as we get into Hope's Peak, it's like someone pressed the fast forward button and was like, eh, this is fine. Did I mention that the show is just badass? Because everything from the characters, the story, and the animation is just amazingly hardcore, and just uh, so badass. I know, I keep saying badass, but I can't help it. The whole thing is just so badass. It's just an amazing experience you can't afford to miss out on. But a lot of you beg the question, which one is better? The anime or the OVA? Oh great! What should I do? Oh, hey, Megan. Brad? Oh my god, I found someone! Ah! My baby's caught by a large naked man! It's my worst nightmare come true! Bye, bye, Brad? <laughs> I'll play it again. Again, again, again! You can tell how much I love this scene. How the hell do you even snap with gloves on anyway? Come on, keep trying. Roy Mustang was able to do it. It's not possible though. No matter what you say, it's not possible. <laughs> wow, they actually work. Sorry, Robin. <laughs> Mind if I try? Yes. Yes, I do mind. You can never ever say you have seen everything. Because when you do, the f you fairies magically appear out of frickin' nowhere to work their insane magic and bring you even more disturbing imagery that trumps your previous statement. Like a virgin, touched for the very first time. They're siblings. Moving on. When Ren starts seeing another girl, however, Kaede snaps. Aw, oh, but look, she's making soup. Maybe when she snaps, she just makes soup for everybody. There's no soup in there. Kaede, you could have just called Suzaku. I'm sure he can help you at the soup store. I'm at the soup store! No, but seriously, I don't know what she did to Asa here, but it looked like it hurt. The hell? in a really bad place to be stuck in. How about a world that's like Groundhog Day? Just with multiple ways to live or die. Am I experiencing deja vu? You see her planning, you see her carefully thinking about these things that she wants to do to get Kira's attention. But then the moment that she thinks that Light might even be noticing her and taking an interest in her, she completely loses all sense of intelligence and just like, oh, Kira-sama! Yeah! Let's go do this! Let's do that! Yeah, yeah. And she just completely throws all of her plans out the window and completely forgets about being intelligent. He reaches out to her, and that's when the sparks fly. Oh, this is a sweet way to end the show. A school ruffian learns how to become a better person through his five moms and finds love at the end. Will he accept her feelings and make it official? Will they? Yes? Mm. Oh, f 
Fuck you, Appy Lesson! The next time you're at a convention, or amongst anime-loving friends, start singing Pokemon, and watch how many people chime in. Thanks everyone for voting and for watching this video. Once again, this video was brought to you by Loot Anime. The theme from last month's box was Survive, which featured this awesome t-shirt from Dem in Wonderland, an awesome Sasuke figurine, Ryuk socks that I think I've seen before, Pen pineapple apple pen. Pen pineapple apple pen. <laughs> pen pineapple apple pen. Now ah, those socks came from a different box and from a different company. This phone charm here of Loot Anime's idol Yume, the first manga volume of Black Clover, which I haven't seen yet, but I plan to, and this cool looking poster once again featuring Yume. And if you turn the box inside out, it looks like a first aid kit. So that's pretty cool. If you would like your own Loot Anime box, be sure to use the link down below and use the code word to get a nice discount off your first box. This month's theme is Gods and Spirits, which will feature products from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Mushishi, Noragami, and even an exclusive item made by legendary artist Yoshitaka Amino. That's actually pretty awesome. Subscribe by October 27th to get yours today.